Hey guys, Sensei Nathan here. Welcome to an ultimate bow training class. Today I got a great class planned for us. We're gonna do a little mix of traditional combination and we're gonna be mixing in some combatives into that, okay? So we're gonna start things off guys by warming things up. We're gonna start in a right dominant stance and we're just gonna do some overhead front strikes, kind of get those muscles warmed up. We're gonna start with just kind of a nice easy overhead front strike. We're gonna start in a right dominant, foot up, one. Two, nice and steady guys. We're not looking for uh, any crazy power as of yet. We just wanna really warm up those muscles and get nice, nice and limber. Make sure guys that when you're doing these, we wanna make sure that we're snapping that front wrist and we have a nice horizontal angle, kind of a almost like a 45 degree angle, I guess you could say, on that bow. And we're gonna strike a little bit harder now. Okay, just giving you guys a few different viewpoints that we can look at. Keep in mind that we really wanna step into a nice forward stance when we're landing that overhead front strike. We're gonna switch sides, we're gonna go left dominant, same thing. Starting up, get that bow nice and horizontal on your shoulder, step out, snap that wrist, as you bring the bow down. Nice and easy, guys. Good work. Stay with me now, don't uh, just watch the video. Grab your bow, grab a broomstick, grab something, some sort of uh, long stick, something like that, so you can train with me. Okay, we're gonna face a different direction. We're still in left dominant making sure that bow is nice and horizontal along my shoulder. I'm gonna step out and complete my strike. Again, always have a nice strong exhale on those guys as we're striking through. It just adds to the power, okay? Let's give you guys a little bit of a different angle and continuing with me. Good job, guys. And good. Shake those arms out. Okay, next one we're gonna work on is gonna be a push block, okay? So when I do that push block, I'm gonna get into a right dominant stance. I'm gonna drop the tip of the bow on my left side. I'm gonna sweep it across to my right, and I'm gonna push out as I step into the bow, forward with the bow. So we don't want it so that bow is in line with our face. We want it so it's actually off on our shoulder when we're pushing through. That way, if there was any recoil from something coming to hit us, maybe like a baseball bat type swing, we actually have a little bit of uh, leeway there so that the bow can actually come back without hitting our, hitting our own face. Together with me, guys, I'm gonna drop that tip, sweep, push. Now, if you'll notice my front foot, I do step into that push block. It's really meant to block that blunt force attack, so we wanna make sure that we're responding with lots of power, okay? So drop the tip, sweep, push. Again, drop the tip, sweep, push. Drop the tip, sweep, push. Okay, just a little bit faster now, guys. Give you guys a different angle, okay? Make sure that you're really stepping into that one, guys. It really does emphasize the power of the technique. This is a very traditional, old school block. You guys a different viewpoint. And drop the tip to your open side, swing it across, push. Try and get it so that it's all one nice seamless motion when you're coming through because you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth, direct and to the point. We're going to switch sides. So now I'm in a left dominant. So I'm going to drop the tip of the bow to my right side, sweep it across, step into the push. Okay. Again, I'm going to be here, drop the tip of the bow to my right side, sweep it to the left so it's in line with my shoulder and push, I step into that push ever so slightly. Like I said, we wanna emphasize that power, okay? 
So we're going to get in that right dominant, left dominant, sorry. Drop the tip, sweep, push. Together with me. Make sure we have nice, steady breathing. Exhale right at the imaginary point of contact. Good work, guys. A different angle for you guys. I'm making sure I keep that bow nice and vertical when it's coming across. I'm going to do the other side. Left dominant still, guys, dropping the bow to my right, sweeping it across, and pushing. Try and visualize when your imaginary target is coming in. This kind of really helps me when I'm training to visualize what I'm actually doing. So if I was doing a push block, like I said, someone would be coming at me with some kind of a, some kind of a horizontal attack. So when I'm doing that push block, I'm imagining that I'm stepping into that, meeting it with a lot of force. Next one we're gonna work on, guys, is another old school one, angle blocks, okay? We're gonna start this one in a right dominant, and we're gonna be working to our open side. So what we're gonna do is remember the tip's gonna come around and up, okay? I'm gonna twist my hips as I perform this motion, okay? So it's gonna look like this. Okay, so it's again meant to be a really powerful block. We wanna make sure that we're in a nice strong uh, forward stance. We're gonna to turn to our open side. This is my open side, this is my dead side. I'm gonna come around and throw a nice strong block. If you guys notice, there's a nice angle on the block on this one, hence the name, it's an angle block, okay? So the push block was nice and uh, vertical. The angle block has uh, an angle to it, okay? Almost like a 45 degree angle, you would say. Together with me, and go. Really nice, strong, controlled breathing on that one, guys and making sure it's the tip coming around underneath and then up, okay? Quite often people think that it comes up like this, but you're bringing that tip side down and then it's almost like a windmill motion. Same stance, I'm just giving you guys a different angle. You can really increase the power on this one, guys, when you get your hips into it, get your whole body moving together at the same time. Okay, a few more, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna turn. Good work, guys. We have a nice, strong angle block. We wanna make sure that we're practicing how we would play. So we want perfect practice all the time. Okay, left dominant, okay? So I'm gonna be coming around, throwing that angle block to my open side again, okay? Together with me, making sure that tip side comes down, guys. Get a different angle for you guys. There's lots of different strikes that you could actually work off of an angle block. One of the ones that I really like to do is after I do that angle block, you can actually come around into a reverse rib strike. It looks really smooth. It's in some of the kata that we do for ultimate bow. Um, I like it quite a bit. Last thing we're gonna do guys for our warm up is just some knee drives. Just get our lower body warmed up a little bit. All we're gonna do, grab that bow, and I'm just gonna drive my knee in, okay? Just warming up the legs, warming up my hip flexors. Really rip that bow down in your hands, work out those lats. Okay, and we'll do a few more on this side. Good work, guys. Really drive that knee up. Okay, 
I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna go with my left leg now, okay? Still gonna drive that bow down. It's gonna be my left knee coming up this time. Keep in mind guys, if you don't have a bow, that's okay. You can always grab like, like I said, like a stick, a broom, just something that's got reasonable balance. I know a lot of people just go to the hardware store and buy like a dowel and just cut it to the size that they need. Okay, let's grab a five second water and we're gonna get into some techniques. It's gonna be off camera for two seconds guys while I have my sip of water. Okay, first technique we're gonna be working on today guys is going to be a sweep okay when we do that sweep we're going to start in a right fighting stance i want to really open up my hips to do that i got to step that foot out to allow the bow to sweep across i'm going to come back into my ready stance now when i'm doing this strike i don't want to be retreating my foot i just want to be stepping out to the side i don't want to be losing any distance as it is this is already a fairly close attack by backing up as I sweep, I'm losing a little bit of distance. So we really wanna make sure that we're, when we're doing this one, we do a really nice job of swinging our bow quickly to come across, because we wanna make sure we have nice bow speed. And we also wanna make sure that that front foot is stepping out to the side and opening up to allow my hips to open up, okay? That's a really important point on this one. And we gotta make sure that it isn't lost in translation, okay? So we're in that right fighting stance, okay? I'm gonna step out, sweep, and then back to ready, okay? So again, get in a better camera frame for you guys. I'm gonna step out and then back in. So I'm coming across and I'm sweeping, I'm catching somebody kind of in the, the back of the calf, the side of the calf, something like that. Um, you need a lot of bow speed on this one for it um, to have like a practical application, okay? So again, we're gonna be stepping out, sweep. If you notice, I want to make sure I have lots of bow speed on this one, guys. Again, keep in mind watching the tip, it comes up and around and then back up, okay? So the, the tip of the bow is going right through the whole strike, okay? So we don't worry about the heel, we're just using that backhand to help manipulate the bow so that we have a faster sweep, okay? Let's do a few at regular speed. Together with me. Okay, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a different angle. Keeping in mind, we really wanna make sure we're getting those hips opened up. When I do my sweeps, I like to follow through with it and come back up. Another way, if you're demonstrating just technique, you could come across and then back. To me, I like coming back into that ready position. It's a, a little bit more realistic that it could lead into another strike. Okay, we're gonna do a few more on this side. We're still in right dominant, guys. I'm gonna step out, sweep, and back to ready. When you're swinging that bow on that sweep, you might actually be able to hear it cutting through the wind. That's a good sign. It's telling you that your bow speed is quite nice. Okay, so let's go left side. We're in that left dominance. Okay, again, I'm gonna open up those hips, bring the tip of the bow right through. I don't just stop, I go all the way through and then back into my ready position. Key on this one, hips open. I want a nice bow speed and nice follow through. Together with me, sweep, and back to ready. Sweep, back to ready. I'm gonna switch directions for you guys, give you a different angle. Really focusing on getting those hips open, guys. It's always funny, you know, you talk about it, practice, 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 and it's hard, 
until it isn't. And then it just kind of gets ingrained into that muscle memory. That's why it's so important to make sure that you're really paying close attention to that technique when you're first learning something and when you're drilling it. So going across, back to ready, paying attention to every single detail. We want to be watching our footwork, angle of the bow, the bow speed, opening up those hips. It all kind of works together. Okay, the next one we're going to work on, guys, is going to be a sweep followed up with an overhead front strike. Okay, so the way that one looks is I'm going to be in my right dominant. Okay, from side view. Now, when I do this strike, guys, it's the sweep followed up with an overhead front strike. A couple pointers on this one to make it look uh, nice and clean would be I'm going to sweep, open up my hips. I bring the bow up kind of as I prepare for that overhead front strike. And then I come down into my strike. I'm in a long stance. My hand is sliding back on the bow. I've got nice extension on the bow. I'm still uh, snapping my wrist at the end of that strike. When we're going through it, we really do want to make sure that uh, we're not going out of the sweep too quickly. So we want to complete each technique um, before we move into the next one. So just an emphasis on clean technique and making sure we uh, complete each technique. Together with me, we're going to go a little faster on these ones, guys. You guys will notice I'm getting the bow up into a nice horizontal position, preparing for that overhead front strike. We really want to make sure that we're doing that. Uh, it just sharpens it up, polishes it, makes it look better. And together again with me, we're still in right dominant. Other side, or other direction, I should say. Okay, we're still in that right dominant, guys. Good work, guys. Let's switch to uh, left dominant now, okay? You know, it's a good class. It doesn't take me much to get sweating, but uh, I'm sweating a little bit more than usual today. Maybe it's the nerves of being on YouTube live. Who knows? Okay, together with me, we're in that left dominant. I'm gonna sweep, prepare, overhead front strike. Some of us may find this one a little awkward those that are right-handed. So really on these ones in particular, make sure that you're getting that technique down. The speed comes in time. Different direction for you guys. Making sure guys that we're doing a good job of opening up those hips. I'm gonna go this way now. We're in a left dominant. Together with me guys. Good work guys. Shake it out. I'm gonna check my list, see what we got on next. Next up is an overhead, a sweep with an overhead front strike followed by a thrust, okay? We're gonna be building on it. So we've done the sweep, the overhead front strike, and then we're gonna add in that thrust. So when I add in the thrust, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick breakdown on this one. I'm gonna go sweep, overhead front strike, Bring the bow up, now it's horizontal, okay? Thrust. My elbow's up, this is a American style bow jitsu front thrust. I wanna get a really nice long stance in there. And again, on these ones guys, we wanna make sure that we're completing each technique before we go into the next one. I know it's very natural when you got a bow in your hand, a big stick, that you wanna just rip through every technique as fast as you can. 
Uh, we'll slow it down just a little bit and emphasize the power. Together with me, guys, we're going to right dominant sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Okay. Again, sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Notice I get a nice long stance on that front thrust. Again, sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Okay, we're gonna change up the directions and go regular speed now, guys. Right dominant still. Switching directions for you guys. These ones are, I do get tired when we're doing these uh, multiple attacks. It's a great shoulder workout. Let's do one more on this side, guys. And sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. We're gonna switch sides. We wanna train equally. Let's get that left side in. Okay, left side, sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Again with me, sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Back up a little for you guys. Sweep, overhead front strike, front thrust. Okay, I'm gonna change directions. We're gonna go regular speed now, guys. In that fighting stance, left dominant. Ah. Switch sides. You guys ever wonder why I pause for that half second on the thrust? It's just my way of kind of showing that I completed the technique or the combination. Left dominant, together with me guys. Let's do a couple more on this side guys. Good work guys, shake it out. We got one more technique to go. Our last technique is gonna be a sweep, followed up with a reverse uppercut. So when we're doing that reverse uppercut, guys, we're gonna do the sweep. I'm gonna take my right foot step back as I drive that bow up, okay? So it's kind of coming on a plane and then up like that. We don't want it going on a perfect diagonal angle, it's gonna kind of almost like a boxer's uppercut. It travels in the same motion. Together with me guys, we're gonna go sweep, step back with our right foot as we uppercut. I'm gonna try and put my hips into it a little bit. It's just gonna emphasize the power on the uppercut. Together with me, and sweep, uppercut. Sweep, uppercut. Okay, let's do some at regular speed now, guys. I'm gonna switch sides, we're still in right dominant. Really focus, guys, when we're making that transition from that sweep into the uppercut, we really wanna focus on our bow speed, making the bow, uh, manipulating it, so that it moves into that uppercut motion instantly after you're finished the sweep, okay? You don't want like a delayed, uh, a delayed action, because you don't, you don't want to be here and then step back and uppercut. You want it to be nice and smooth, um, adding as much realism to it as possible. Sweep, uppercut, sweep. Let's do two more guys. Switching sides, left dominant. Again, I'm gonna go sweep, step back, uppercut. Together with me, guys.
switching sides, switching directions. On that uppercut, guys, this backhand, it's not just there uh, to be pretty. We want to make sure that it's helping manipulate the bow. It's not just the eye candy. Okay, left fighting stance, sweep, uppercut. I'm using that backhand to help row that bow. Push, pull, lever motion. One hand's pulling up, the other hand's pushing down, vice versa. Let's do two more on this side, guys. Whew, good work, guys. Up next, we're gonna work on combatives. Let's grab a five second water, and then we're gonna get back into it. Okay, that's our, our five second water break. It's pretty quick. Okay, next one we're gonna work on, guys, is we're gonna get into some combatives, okay? So this would be some more practical application, combative application with the bow. First one we're going to work on is going to be an angle one strike followed with a knee and then I'm going to come back with an angle two, okay? So keep in mind on this one, guys, these are combatives. So I'm not just stopping when I make contact. It'd be much like a punch or a kick if you're breaking a board. You go, if this was my board, my hand goes through the board, okay? I don't stop when I meet it. I go through it. It's the same with the bow. I'm not stopping when I make contact. I'm going right through, and then I'm bringing that bow in, throwing my knee drive, and then as I'm stepping back, I'm following up with a devastating angle two strike, okay? I like this one, it feels really powerful. We're gonna do the first few together um, more slowly, guys, and then we're gonna gradually increase the pace. Starting off in a right dominant stance, I'm gonna bring that bow up, come down. Nothing fancy about this one, guys. It's like I'm going through on an X axis for this and it's just coming down. I'm using lots of power. I bring the bow up as I throw my knee drive and as I step back, I'm completing painting that X. So if you want to imagine that there's like a cross axis like this, it's like the bow is tracing that line, okay? So we don't want too much angle, but we don't want it to be too vertical either. Okay, enough talk, more swing in the stick. Right fighting stance, angle one. Knee drive, angle two. One, knee, two. Okay, just on one count now, and one. Two, three, four, Five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, guys. Shake it out. Adjust your your uniforms, your sweats, your pajamas, whatever you may be training in. We're gonna get in a left dominant, okay? I can only imagine what some of us are training in for these classes. Definitely there's somebody out there wearing pajamas. Left dominant, there's nothing wrong with training in your pajamas either. Left dominant, this time it's gonna be angle two, knee drive, angle one, okay? Together with me, Angle two, knee drive, one. Okay, we're gonna mix it up a little bit now, or move around a little bit, I should say. Together with me. Switching sides, sorry, switching directions, guys. And together with me.
If you guys will notice, on my angle one or two, whatever side I'm striking with, the heel side, I do that strike, angle two, angle one, I kind of get that back foot back there so I have something to drive off with. If I'm doing it in the air as I back up, it doesn't quite have the same amount of power. On this uh, particular drill, I'm really focusing on making sure we have good power on this one. Okay, control and power is kind of the key for this section. Let's do a couple more on this side, guys. Good work, guys. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna check our list for what we're doing next. We're gonna work on some back striking now, guys, okay? This is a pretty deceptive technique. Is what we're gonna simulate is that I went in for an overhead front strike and I missed. Maybe I was throwing a feint. In any event, I didn't hit my opponent. Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna back strike. Now, if this was real life application, you'd be going somewhere upstairs, okay? So generally for the target for this one uh, would be your own head height, okay? So what we wanna do is do that overhead front strike, but we wanna kinda pull the bow in, and then we're gonna really reach as we're doing the back strike. The reason we're doing that is because we missed on the overhead front strike, so we have a little bit of distance to gain on our opponent. So we wanna make sure that we're closing that gap, okay? Together with me, guys, so it's a fake followed up with a back strike. And fake back strike. With that back strike, I'm really curling my wrists. Let's see if I can get it in closer for you guys. I'm coming in and I'm curling like that, okay? So keep that in mind when I'm coming across. I'm not just missing my strike and going like that, okay? I miss my strike and I come back like that. It's gonna add to the power when I do it and uh, it's gonna help me with the reach. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys this angle view to start. This one's gonna um, demonstrate it a little bit better. So I miss my strike, back strike. Again, if you guys will notice, I'm really overemphasizing the overhead front strike. It's really to demonstrate that I'm missing that and then I'm exploding into that uh, back strike. Let's do a couple more on this side, guys. Good job. Now we're gonna face the other direction. Same hand, same stance, right dominant and you can throw in some wild Kias in there. Wake up anyone sleeping in the house. Wake up your neighbors. Make them wonder what's going on. It's always fun to have. It's always good to have some fun when we're training, guys. Make sure, guys, that every technique we're throwing, we're doing it with the authority that it would actually work. We don't wanna just go through the motions. That's, uh, that's weak training. Okay, we're gonna go left dominant. Same principles apply, guys. I'm gonna do my strike. I'm gonna back in, or back strike in, making sure I really, I like to call it peeling back. And it's like I missed, but I peel back and I'm coming, it's so deceptive, okay? So, together with me, and really emphasize that back strike on this one, guys. You could simulate you're moving back, strike, miss. There's lots of different variations that you could do on this one. Let's switch directions. Okay, we're still in that left dominant stance, guys. I'm gonna strike and miss, <laughs> come back. I exhale as I strike, gives me that little 
extra oomph of power. Good work, guys. Shake it out. We got one left, drill left. We're going to have a little competition at the end of class. It's going to be you guys versus me, okay? Uh-oh. Everyone wants a shot at me now. That's okay. I can take it. Okay. The last one we're going to do, guys, this is a really fun one. I'm going to slide out for a push block, slide in for an angle three or four, depending on which way you're going. So in this case, it would be angle three. So a push block, or sorry, side block, angle three, angle four. Okay, so I'm imagining that I side blocked that bow or incoming strike, and then I just slide in right into my opponent's rib cage, and I'm hitting with section two of my bow, maybe section one, one or two, um, and then we follow up with that power strike, okay? So the block, this is really just kind of make them kind of go like that, and then you're going to drive that bow right through their rib cage, okay? Together with me, guys, first few are going to be slow. If you'll notice, I'm using my hips a lot on this one. We want to make sure that we're using those hips to aid in the power because really a lot of it comes from there. And side block, angle three, angle four. Notice on angle four, I'm going through my opponent, okay? Angle three is... It can do a little bit of damage, but it's really just there to kind of move your opponent's arms so that you can open up that sweet spot for your angle four or angle three strike, depending on which angle you're coming from. Together with me. You guys will notice on that side block, I'm trying to get full extension, slide in, and come across, okay? trying to get as much separation. That's going to allow that bow to come up nice and easy. If you block like this, it's going to be really hard to come up and do that angle three strike. So if I get a little more extension, it's going to be just a little easier for me to get in, get inside, really. Okay, let's go regular speed. Right dominant still, guys. <laughs> Really focus on using the hips, guys. If you'll also notice, when I'm stepping to my outside, my left foot is actually pushing me as I come across. It's a, a footwork technique that's just going to speed things up just a little bit for me. Really polish it. Let's go to the other side. Do a few more on this side, guys. Stay with me. We're almost through it. One more on this side, and we get to do the last side. Switch. My bow is quite sweaty right now. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. We're going to finish out. We're going to do a couple more, and then we're going to uh, finish up with a flourishing competition, okay? And sliding out. Again. Good work, guys. Shake it out, okay? To finish things out, guys, we're going to go with a flourishing competition. I'm just going to clear off my bow real quick. For our flourishing competition, guys, this is the way it's going to work. I'm going to do 20 flourishes, okay? So one flourish is each time the bow passes one side of my body, okay? So we've done this one before. It's always nice to be able to build on your own personal goals, okay? I'm going to hit 20, and then I'm going to stop, and your goal is to beat me, okay? So again, it's going to be one, two, three, just like that, okay? So every time it passes my right side, 
that's going to count as one. My goal is to beat everybody. We'll see how that goes. Okay, make sure you guys comment to tell me how badly you beat me. Okay, ready? And together with me, and go. Hopefully, there was lots of people that beat me. I hope you guys had a great class. Uh, hopefully, there wasn't too much of a technical difficulty. I'm not sure why my camera went off. If you guys want to train with me more, check out Global Martial Arts University, Ultimate Bow, training with Sensei Nathan and Sensei Michael. It's a great program, and I'd love to be training with more of you. I'm going to stick around for a minute, see if there's any comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the class. Hey, glad that you guys could make it. Uh, that's great. Glad you could make it too, Rebecca. That's awesome. Let me take a knee here so you guys can see me a little bit better. If anyone has any questions or comments, uh, I'm going to stick around for a few minutes. It's all good. Hey, no worries, Rebecca. Um, eventually, these classes are going to get posted uh, on the university's website. So you can follow along with the whole class, uh, probably have it posted sometime in the very near future. Okay, guys, we're going to bow out. Attention, bow. Have a great day, guys. I got some more comments here. Thanks, Sean. Let's see. Take care, Rebecca. Okay, we'll see you guys. Have a good one.